Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem of the Sacred Stones. This is episode 2, and we're going to be starting on chapter 1, Escape. So I noticed that the, the game audio was a bit loud last time, so I tried, you know, try messing stuff around. We'll see how it works this time. Princess Tana, Grotto scores are approaching. What? So s <laughs> So soon. Ah, oh, we've had no time. The lady, we lack the arm to, de to defend this place. You must return to Castle Freela. I can't. Not yet. We haven't found Erica or her companions yet. Erica's my friend, and she needs my help. I won't abandon her. Oh, I know. Go ask Father. Er I mean, King Hayden for more troops. Yes, Your Highness. Erica, please be safe. Commander Perrit, the enemy appears to be fortifying its position in the castle. Humph. <laughs> They're tenacious, but they have no hope of stopping our advance. What are your orders, sir? Ha! Orders? You just stand here and watch. I'll crush them myself. As you command, sir. I don't know why I gave this guy Davy Jones' voice. <laughs> Or if you can even tell that was David Jones' voice. <laughs> ha! That's what happens when you face my lance. Stop right there! Call up your forces and turn back, or you'll have me to deal with. Is that so? And who might you be? Who? I am Tana, Princess of Freela. I will not permit you to leave my country any longer. Freela's royal brat, huh? How convenient! Leave this castle immediately. If you harm me, my father and brother will take you to the Earth's End. Yes, I've heard how King Hayden dotes on his precious little daughter. Let's see how true that is. You'll make us a fine hostage, my dear. Seize the girl and lock her up. Run away, sir. No, let me go. Seth, look. I see it. It seems like Rada's army has reached Freela. Princess, this place is perilous. We should bypass Milan altogether and head straight to the castle. But we can't just ignore this. You were there when Rene was invaded. You saw what I saw. You saw how the people suffered at the hands of Grotto soldiers. Homes were destroyed, possessions stolen, women kidnapped. Anyone who resisted was executed without question, without hesitation. <laughs> Please, Seth, I can't allow that to happen here. I don't want to see any more people harmed by Grotto's atrocities. Alright, Princess, I understand. Perhaps we can retake Mulan. But, Princess, you must act with caution. Your people need you, too. Of course, Seth. Come, let's go. Okay, so this is the actual first chapter. Uh, this guy's the boss, and that like little fight there was to showcase the weapon triangle of, you know, his his lance better than his sword, blah, 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 all scripted. So here we go. We got this fighter right here, and we'll just use Erica and lure him in. Let's just make sure the soul unite. Either so, put Erica right there. Do Seth to visit this village. The rumors are true, aren't they? The Grotto's army taking over the castle. <sighs> Looks like they seized the castle gate, too. Smart work. The event provides defense and heals wounds to boot. They must be first warriors to attack the gate. Watch yourself. So, what he said was basically, uh, well, I'll explain later when it turns over. Put Erica right there. Is that the Princess of Renee? Ha <laughs> ha! It really is my lucky day. Fame and fortune ride to meet me. Move on, you slugs! Bring that girl to me. Here we go. There we go. Solid kill for Erica. Ah, oh, so close to going left. Oh well. 
Sir Gilliam, is that Mulan? Have you reached Freela's border already? Aye, we have. Her Highness Princess Tana should be inside the castle. But look, the countryside is crawling with royal soldiers. Where's the castle guard? Has Mulan fallen? Are we too late? Too tough to say from here. Princess Tana's in danger. Princess Tana's in no danger if they want her as a bargaining tool. We men of the East will watch see to her safety. Yes, yes, of course. We mustn't give up. We must move. We must retake the castle. Then we ride forth to Princess Erica's aid. I have stronger armor than you do. I'll take the lead. Watch my back. Alright, reinforcements. So here we got Sir Gilliam, an armored knight of Freela. Quiet and dependable. He is a knight. Knights suck. <laughs> okay, well, knights aren't. Uh, first, let's go over the good points. Most knights, they have high strength and high defense. That's like their best points. Everything else is kind of subpar. Um, speed, resistance, and especially movement. In this game, speed and movement are like are are the best stats. And knights I have bad bad those. Um as for the unit himself, Gilliam, he's he's okay. Um he's your first knight. Knights are basically meant to be tanks. They they shield your squishier units from harm, at least from physical attack, from magic attacks. They just crumple and die. Uh, Gilliam got okay growths, but he really like he he's only there for the early game really. Uh, you can invest him if you want to. He'll be he'll be, you know, he'll still keep up, but yeah, he's really only here for the early game stuff. And then you can you know swap him out for a better unit that come by. Uh, Franz, an earnest and compassionate cavalier from Rene. He's a cavalier. Well, Franz is the complete opposite. He comes in with, you know, okay bases, but his growths are really good. He's a growth unit, but you get him at the very beginning of the game. He's just really good. Plus, the Cavalier class is also very good. They have 7 movement, high aid, so he can do a lot of rescue, drop, movement shenanigans. He's just really good. Uh, don't sleep on Franz. He will be a tremendous help. Alright, so right here... Oh yeah, and what this guy here was talking about, the gate, that's a, a gate tile. It gives him 3 defense, 30 avoid, and it heals him every turn. I, I don't remember how much it heals him for, I think it might be 10% each turn, but it's at such low HP levels, it's really going to be like, you know, 1 or 2. It's, it's not that high at all. Okay, so let's use Gilliam here. Actually, let's see. Alright, so I don't know what to do. First, let's get Eric and get this kill. Go on the fort to get some extra defense and avoid. And let's see Erica's second level up. Uh, it's okay, not bad. Skill and res and HP. Weapon experience increase. Now I'm at D. I can now use steel swords. Uh, Gilliam, soften him up a bit. Oh shoot, I did my animations. There we go. And then use Franz to nab this kill. Bam. So yeah, um, if you couldn't tell, I'm going to be using, or actually, I'm going to be going the A route, the Erica route. So. I'm Trying to prepare Erica as best I can in these early chapters so that she doesn't, you know, fall over and die later. These guys, it's okay to not be feeding them kills, especially Seth. Like I said, Seth will he's fine. Seth Seth is okay. He will he will keep up just fine you know, in the first half of the game. And these two, um, I'm not really planning on using Gilliam long term. Franz, definitely. So I'll be feeding these um Franz and Erica some kills later on. But Erica right now needs them the most, so I'll be feeding her some kills. So if some of you are worried that I'm not you know, giving any kills to Seth, don't be. Uh, not only will not get any experience at all, but he does not need it. So yeah. 
stand over here, just do a little talk. Is that you, Franz? I'm relieved to see you still in one piece. Yes, and you as well, General. As long as you lead us, sir, the Knights of Renee cannot lose. Franz, you and I must work together to protect Prince Erica. I want you to ride with us. Sir, with honor, sir. And there we go. So, she's... Which way here? Oh, unnecessary crit. Good job, friends. Okay. So, let's see. Some reinforcements coming in from behind. I found them. Stragglers from Renee. Don't let them get away. Oh, yes, there we go. So, Erica's healing a bit. So, what I'm gonna do is, these guys are gonna come up, and I'm actually gonna leave Erica right here in the fort. Um, it gives her two kills, maybe even three if this guy's stupid. So I'll leave. Let's see. Uh, Frank has two vulnerabilities. Um, the reason for that is because if you play on easy or normal, there's some you know cutscenes that play where you have to trade, where they explain trading to you. But since hard mode, you just skip all that. So let's see. Um... There we go, I'll we'll do that. So, William will soften this guy up if he hits. And he misses. Good job, William. Good job. Um, let's see, Franz is gonna get the kill on this soldier at the very least. We'll do that. There we go. And I'll just I'll just clean up the, the fighter with stats. This is what Seth is for in the other game. He's he he's just like your delete button. Hey, how you doing, man? Just, just die. Bada boom, bada bing. Like, I know you get Gilliam, but Seth just has more defense than he does, so... <laughs> but see the art there. Seth got, like, no EXP that turn. This is why it's technically, like, if you want to grow your units, it's not efficient to feed kills to Seth. If you're not doing a low turn count playthrough. If you are, then Seth is, like, MVP. But I'm not, so so there. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's see how much damage these guys do to Erica. Uh, and the fork gives two defense, so she'll be fine. How about you? Uh, it's better than anything. But Erica, er I think she'll be fine. Erica will be fine. These guys won't be able to hit for anything, so yeah, Erica can take care of these guys. The early game of Sacred Stone is honestly kind of a you know, kind of a chore. Uh, the game really doesn't pick up steam until like I want to, until the second half basically, because the first, the first eight chapters is really just like the, the almost like the tutorial. It's when you get your units, when you get settled in, all that, all that stuff. So yeah, the game doesn't really pick up, pick up pace at least in terms of like story until chapter nine or ten. So really, it'll just be us running through, running through Magville, the continent, and just, you know, killing all the Garago soldiers we see. Kill every last one of them! That's us right now. Alright, so... I'll just leave Seth and Gilliam here. Seth will be here for insurance. Let's just... Let's go. Alright, come to me. Yeah, there we go. You guys can't hit Erica for, for anything. Crit, 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 oh, no crit. Okay. That's fine though. And. Oh, first wound. First wound of the day, Erica. Boom. Nice kill. Nice kill. There we go. And then. Yep. Easy. Alright, Erica's third, er. Nope, not yet, not yet. Alright, so let's just... Okay, so, it might be a bit more than 10%, because that was 3 HP. Alright, Darker just got the kill. Boom. Alright, now I'll actually level up. Alright, Darker, let's see what we got. Third level up. Oh, strength, oh, oh. Strength, speed, luck, defense, res. That is a good, good level of res. Good level of Erica. There we go. And this is what I meant by, you know, rescue shenanigans. You can just... 
do stuff like that. And see, even though Erica's turn ended and it wouldn't have been able to move her anymore, thanks to these horse boys, I was able to actually move her more than her movement would allow. So yeah. And this is why Cavaliers and this, this is why, you know, Mountain units are so good in this game. Because you can just do stuff like that. Alright, so Erica. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, so you see in the how Erica's rapier is glowing. That's because it's effective against infantry. That's like not a good descriptor. It says infantry, it should say, you know, armored units, it should say horse units. I don't know why it says infantry. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Erica. It's fine if even if Erica misses, because then I can just use France to rescue and then use Seth to kill. So it's fine if I miss, but let's just go. Let's just go see what happens. Bah! What a worthless lot of curs I've been assigned. Yeah, the... This is what I mean when I say that the, like, the early game of Fire Emblem is kind of boring. This, this can't be... Oh, Calypso! <laughs> but yeah, um... Because a lot of the enemies you fight in the early game of Sacred Stones, HP, Speed, Luck, okay? Is very one dimensional, very boring, very not interesting at all. Um, you're introduced to some more interesting characters as like the story goes on, but you don't actually you know fight them yet. But the ones you do fight, boring, they, they suck. They just suck. Alright, so Erica sees Princess Tana. Sir Gilliam, I'm sorry. I never meant to cause you such trouble. There was no trouble. I live to serve, Princess. Tana! Erica? Is that really you? Tana, what are you doing so far from Castle Fila? I heard that Renee had fallen. I was so worried. But I'm glad to see that you're safe. Wait, where is Ephraim? Is he well? I wish I knew. You ever heard from him? Oh, I hope he's not been harmed. Come, we must go to Castle Fila. My lord father may know something. Thank you, Tana. So there we go. Ah, uh, shoot, that was false. Whatever. Okay, we'll, we'll go through this cutscene. <laughs> Erica and her companions have liberated the border castle. Alongside Princess Tana of Freela, they arrive to the Freeland capital. That has no name. Oh, Tana. I'm grateful to see that you're safe at home again. You've no idea how worried I was when I heard you're under attack at Border Mulan. You are not to leave again without my permission, do you understand? Don't be mad, father. Look, I come bearing good news. Erica, come out now. King Caden, I am pleased to see you again, even in these sad times. Ah, uh, Erica, it does my heart good to see you safe. Thank you. I was able to escape the castle before Renee fell. But I'm not sure of my father. Yes, I have received word of your father. Your Highness, please tell me, is my father well? My friend King Fado did not survive the fall of Renee Castle. No, it cannot be. <sighs> Rest assured, Grotto will be punished for its cowardly act. This is Freela's promise. Erica, please stay here and rest. I cannot imagine how exhausted you must be. King Hayden, you know of Prince Ephraim's disappearance, do you not? Yes, we hear the prince and his men hound Grotto at every turn. It's said that he's led his forces into the Empire itself. Reports suggest he's crossed the border and now fights in Renval. My brother, he fights on. Even now. Yes, my Pegasus Knights bought this information at a great price. Even though Rene has fallen, he charges into the enemy's heart. He is truly Fado's son. What a valiant youth. I wish that I knew whether he remains unharmed, but I do not. King Hayden, I thank you for your offer, but I cannot stay. I intend to ride to my brother's side with reinforcements. I cannot allow it. I know how you feel, but this plan is suicide. I will be betraying Fado's memory if I allow any harm to befall you. Stay here. Rest and mourn. Leave this war to the warriors. I know you mean well, your majesty. However, I have lost my father, and my twin brother is in peril. My brother, he is a part of me. I cannot rest here in peace while I risk his life. No. Rene has no more army. Grotto's forces decimated it. 
I wish that Philip could provide you with support with soldiers, but my son, Inez, is on his way to meet the Empire's forces. We cannot spare a single brigade. Your own retinue of knights cannot possibly face Grotto alone. Are you so determined to go? Yes. With apologies. As resolute as your father, eh? What am I to do in the face of such foolhardy determination? Vanessa? Here, your highness. Boulder? Oh yeah. Hmm. You cold, my king. Gilliam. Yes, sire. You are to accompany Princess Erica of Rene into Grotto territory. I expect each of you to provide aid and support for our brother. Hmm. Quite a grave responsibility you've given us. No matter the obstacles, we will perform our duty. Our lives are yours. These are some of my most trusted and stalwart vessels. They will no doubt prove themselves quite valuable on your journey. Remember, you are venturing behind enemy lines. You will need supplies. I will have supply convoy ready to carry your weapons and provisions. It will remain at your side, no matter how far should you venture. King Kate and I thank you. No, save your things for return with your brother, Prince Ephraim. Yes, your highness. 5,000 gold. And how long does it Erica, you don't really intend to go through with this, do you? I can't guess how you feel, but it must just too dangerous. What would happen if you were captured by those men? Thank you for your concern, Tana, but I have no choice. Don't you see, Tana, I have to go. Erica, oh, why is this happening? What's gone wrong with the world? Tana! Why would Grotto invade? Emperor of Regards a man of peace. His people adore him. Are you an Ephraim? And you and Ephraim are friends with Prince Nian, are you not? What could be behind this madness? Why is this happening? I have no answers for you, Tana. I don't want to believe it, but the reality is that we are at war. If I do nothing, I may lose my brother as well as my father. This is why I have to fight. It's the only answer I have. Oh, finally. <laughs> so that was chapter one, Escape. Uh, pretty easy chapter. Uh, thank you for watching. Next time is going to be chapter two, The Protected. Alright.